Hey guys, what's up? My name is Matt, and on today's video, we are going to be running a couple buckets of dirt through the gold cube. Now, if you remember from last video, we went up to a small mine and classified a couple buckets of material from a pile of ore that was left outside the portal. So we're going to run these two buckets that we took and see what kind of results we get and we can go from there whether we want to do more exploration or if we're not seeing anything go find somewhere else to look now the material's already been classified down to an eighth inch so we don't technically need the trommel on the gold cube because it's small enough to go straight through but i'm running that for a couple reasons uh, reason one is i personally don't like to run dry material straight onto the slick plate your top plate of the gold cube i don't know if it makes a difference or not that's my personal personal preference so that's what i'm going to do uh, reason two is later today if we don't run out of daylight i'm going to run some more samples from a different mine that we'll get to in another video talk more about that that's a pretty cool mine but that material has not been classified down, so we're going to need the trommel anyways. And reason three is because I already have it, so why not use it? Um, now, I've had pretty good luck running the gold cube. Um, I've ran quite a bit of, like, beach sand. Um, it's actually river, but it's a lot like on a beach. Real fine sand, real fine gold. I don't know how we'll do for hard rock gold. I know it's not the best choice, but it's the best choice that I have right now. So that's what we're going to do. So let's get started. Now I've already ran a little water through this, gotten the air bubbles out of the trays. So it's good to go. Make sure you add jet dry or dish soap or something. Uh, helps the small gold not float quite as bad. Now I tend to run the gold cube faster than most people do. But... In the tests that I've done, I've never had an issue. I've lost enough gold to make it worth slowing down when I feed it. But for the sake of the video, I will try to slow down a little bit rather than just dumping big show full of the dirt in. Double check and make sure everything looks good as it's flowing down. Um, I don't want to lose gold if I don't have to. Or because I made some stupid mistake and didn't set it up right. I am running it a little quick so I got material coming out the back side of the trommel and that shouldn't happen. But I am going to change the angle to help prevent that. Yeah, it looks a lot better. We'll see how that does.
Now I don't know if you guys can see it on the video, but down here we got a little funnel that feeds all the material into a bucket as it discharges from the gold cube. I think that's freaking amazing. Makes it a lot easier so you're not shoveling all the material directly out of the bucket. Now it won't catch everything, some of the smaller stuff is washing out, but it does make a pretty good difference. All right, I'm going to get these cleaned out so we can pan it down and I'll show you guys what we got. All right, guys, we got that all cleaned up. There's not much left, which is nice. So we'll pan that down, see what's in it. Um, now when you're cleaning these out, I hate cleaning these out. Uh, I struggled to get all of the gold or dirt material in there out. So what I did is went to the store and just bought a stiff bristle cleaning brush. And I think it makes a world of difference when you're cleaning out your trays. I don't know if it would help you guys out or not, but I thought I would share. So... Let's get this cleaned up and see that shiny, hopefully. Be nice if I had some clean water, but being out here in the desert, that's not always a luxury you get. I think that ought to be good enough for now. Hey, that ain't too bad. That ain't bad at all. Let me get a close-up shot of this for you guys so you can see.
Hey guys, thanks for watching today's video, and I hope you enjoyed it. And I'll post up some pictures of the gold once I get it cleaned up. Get some clean water in that pan. Looks pretty good for the you know two buckets or so that we ran. Might be worth checking out a little more. Doing a bigger sample, crushing up some of the rocks that were there. And we'll see what future brings with that mine. So until next time, keep it safe, keep it real, keep it in the gold.